Sandra, I don't f***ing care about your stupid kids! Call me when they go to college! Stop showing me pictures of them! <coughs> Hi! <coughs> Hello, welcome! <coughs> welcome back to the Jacksepticeye Power Hour, where we all know magic is made. He's gone! Today, on the Jacksepticeye Power Hour, we have something very, very special because we are going to be playing with Nintendo Labo. Labo? What is this saying? Nintendo Labia is Nintendo's solution to the housing crisis. Also, the gaming crisis, because Nintendo have thought to themselves, what do gamers love more than anything? Pussy! But what else do they also love? They love video games! Not only that, but they love hardware. So Nintendo thought to themselves, smart Nintendo, we're not going to make hardware anymore. We're not going to make the games. We're going to let you make your own games. Nothing greater than the power of the imagination brain, huh? What do you do with Nintendo Labo, you might ask? Well, I will show you. On the front of the box, you can see right here. You can make a fishing rods. You can make a pianos. You can make one of these things. You can also make the houses. And what you do is that when you have all these things in place, you stick your little old Nintendo switcheroo, this little bad boy right here, you stick him in the front of the thing, and then you get to play games in cardboard. It's ingenious. It's amazing. I want to get in and play. Let's see what's inside the box. Getting started. I already started. I don't need that. We have a games. You got to put the game inside your Switch or else you won't be able to play it, okay? I don't know what these are. That's a lot of cardboard. <laughs> oh my god. Let me just... So, on the Switch, it's telling me that I can do a bunch of different things. So, it's helping me make them. There's going to be little videos teaching me how to make my favorite accessories. I want to make a Charmander. All I have to do is remove just this one piece. We'll use the other pieces later. In the meantime, keep sheet A stored away and safely in a box. Since I have to have this here and I can't record the actual gameplay of it, I thought I'd show you this. You can search around the entire thing. And then you can like sculpt and mold and you can like zoom in so you know exactly what you're doing. It is pretty nifty. I like that a lot. Careful, the back and front are different. Put the printed side face down. Oh, the key to building a great toy con is to fold firmly along the fold lines. Always check where the fold lines are. If you do it right, the folded piece will stand up on its own. No worries if it doesn't stand up perfectly straight, though. You talk about my natural. Boom. Man's creation. Sit that bad boy in there. Do I want to make an RC car? Do I want to make a fishing rod? Do I want to make a house, a motorbike, or a piano? The piano would actually be pretty damn cool. Let's make the piano. Said it's going to take 104 years to make it. Let's make the Toy-Con Piano! That's what we're hopefully going to end up with. This is going to be a real expectation versus reality kind of scenario. Make sure you've got the plastic bag with the special parts inside. Oh no. I already ate them. Well, at least I didn't choke her- <laughs> Got him! Alright, we're making the main body. This is going to get real sexy, real fun. Get out! I'm a silly, silly boy, silly boy, silly boy, silly, silly little boy. I'm a stupid- uh, Two! R getting real curious how this is going to turn into a piano, okay? It's just looking like a, an amalgamation of parts right now. But you know what? I'm not one to question the miracles of science. Flip, flap, flop. And this, kids, is how cardboard babies are made. When a mommy cardboard and a daddy cardboard love each other very much, and then they get way too drunk on tequila, then they make, then they make cardboard baby Jesus. Have you managed to push it all the way through? I sure have, Nintendo Labo. The cardboard goes into the cardboard. The other cardboard goes into the Cardboard, fold them neatly in half and slide each one all the way into that tiny gap. It says so right here. It says it on the screen. I'm not just making it up. It sounds very sexual. I feel like Chris Pratt 
in the Lego movie. I feel like a master builder. <laughs> My ankles hurt! How does any human think of this? Have you ever heard this? Everyone's always like, oh, can you make a crane? Can you make a swan? Yeah, can you make a piano? Out of origami? No! Kid, go home, okay? Labo time! Looks like a regular old piece of cardboard, huh? It damned! Look what I make. I make world's tiniest box to keep your shitty tears in. Oh, we need more sheets! I need sheet H. Where the it, it says six plus on it. I can't do this. I can't make this. This is too hard. What have I done? The piano takes 150 to 210 minutes? Why didn't anyone tell me? Come on! You don't even do anything here! We'll be right back, folks, after this commercial break. No, I... I swear to God, no. I'm gonna kick the shit out of her. I'm gonna have her- she's gonna lose her job. No, she is out of here, okay? No, I'm- Hey! You out there! Have you ever wondered what all the cool kids are doing? Where did all my friends go? Why did Grandma leave? They're all going to the greatest comedy show tour the world has ever seen. So if you want to go there too, and you want to get your tickets, come on down to Tommy Tickler's Ticket Emporium, where you too can get a ticket for the Jacksepticeye How Do We Get Here Live Show Tour. Words on the street is, if you go to jacksepticeyetour.com, link down in the description, you'll be able to get your tickets for yourself. You can click the little button on the right that will show you where all the tickets are going to be. They'll give you dates. They'll give you locations. We're going to Toronto. We're going to Detroit, Iowa. Later in the year, we're also hitting up other places like Los Angeles, Seattle, all these other great places that we're going to. You can get tickets yourself. Just go to jacksepticeyetour.com and tell them the Tommy Tickler's Ticket Emporium sent you on down. God, I'm out of breath. Hi folks, and welcome back. Sorry for the interruption there. In the essence of time, we have gone ahead, and here's one I prepared earlier. Yes, it is complete. Marvel at it. Look at it. It's amazing. Technology. Well, it's been an arduous journey. We tried our best, and here it is, finally formed and made and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and click play now, and we'll see what kind of music that we can make with this here cardboard magic box. Apparently, I am playing a cat keyboard. This is music! I have no idea how this thing is picking up input. I have no idea how any of this is working. It's literally just cardboard hitting cardboard, but... It's registering hits somehow. This thing... It's just that. It's just sitting in the top of it. But for some reason it knows what it is. Let's 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 put in a different one. That was a one. Let's put in a circle. Oh god. No! It's using the vibration in the controller to make different pitches and different notes. So it, as it buzzes lower, it makes a lower sound. Holy crap! Metal! Sir, I'm afraid someone has killed your dog. Your wife is sleeping with the postman. Your cholesterol is actually at the healthiest level it's ever been. Actually, that one's pretty good. Welcome to the choir of boys. <laughs> Me when I wake up in the morning. Okay, well that does it for this episode of the Jacksepticeye Power Hour. I hope you all learned something here today. Cardboard is not just mulched up trees repurposed for your own amusement to make forts and castles out of. No, it too can be music. And don't forget what we always say on the show. I hope you lose your job, Sandra. 
Good night, everybody. We're done. We're done! I'm done!